She was laid down on the 15th of November 1957 at the Newport News Shipbuilding Shipyard. She was launched on the 24th of September 1960th. On the 12th of January, 1962nd made his maiden voyage, which lasted three months, during which sea trials and exercises were conducted. With the aim of identifying the full capabilities of the aircraft carrier under the command of the ship's commander Vincent Depot. The baptism of fire of the aircraft carrier was the Cuban Missile Crisis, the ship, as part of the forces of the Second Fleet of the U.S. Navy was involved in the operation to impose a naval blockade of Cuba. Then, for several years, he kept watch on the Mediterranean Sea. The first task force, the Nuclear Attack Aircraft Carrier Enterprise, the nuclear cruiser URO Long Beach and the nuclear frigate URO Bainbridge, the peculiarity of the compound was that all three ships were nuclear-powered. The world's first fully nuclear squadron was tasked with circumnavigating the world. On the 3rd of October of the same year, Operation Sea Orbit, as the cruise was called, was completed. From 1964, Enterprise became part of the 7th Fleet of the U.S. Navy and went to Southeast Asia. With the beginning of participation in the Vietnam War, in December 1965, the Enterprise became the first ship with a YASU to take part in hostilities. The aircraft carrier set a record 165 combat sorties from the ship in one day. On the 14th of January 1969, there was a catastrophe. At 8 o'clock 15 minutes local time, when the first wave of planes went into the sky and the second, hot exhaust of a tractor. Carelessly parked next to the stack of 127mm NUR Zuni, was preparing, led to the self-launch of one of the missiles. It crashed into the fuel tank of a nearby attack aircraft, which led to a spill of fuel on the flight deck and the explosion of aerial bombs, plus the indiscriminate flight of the remaining missiles. The result was 27 dead, 343 wounded, and 15 planes worth $5 million each were lost. The damage caused to the ship was estimated at $126 million. In the early 1980s, an upgrade was carried out as a result of which the Scanfar radar was removed and the reactor was overhauled. Enterprise actively participated in Operation Desert Fox 1998. When the forces of the ships of his group inflicted a series of cruise and aircraft missile strikes on the territory of Iraq. In the fall, 2,000 of the 1st Enterprise Air Group supported the operation to expel the Taliban from Afghanistan. A year and a half later, the ship returned to the Persian Gulf and provided air support to coalition forces in the Iraq War. On the 26th of March 2012, Enterprise, as part of the U.S. Navy Aircraft Carrier Group, a missile cruiser, three destroyers, a nuclear attack submarine, and a tanker, Entered the Mediterranean to then head for the Persian Gulf. On the 3rd of April, the group arrived there. On the 4th of November, 2012, the aircraft carrier completed its last eight month voyage. In total, the aircraft carrier went to sea 25 times. She was decommissioned from the fleet on the 1st of December, 2012.